Um, hello, everyone. Thank you for the introduction and a very nice video. Um, my name is Jinyuan Xu. I'm from KIT. And it is really nice to be invited here to give the talk to you. Um, for this talk, so today we are going to discuss with three kind of uh, solar energy system. So one is the solar thermal, and one, another one is the PV, so maybe um, most of you already know. And another one is the one maybe you don't know very much, is about the P hybrid PVT, it's like photovoltaic uh, thermal um, technology. So we are going to prepare these three technologies and, um, and the main, main purpose is for domestic application. And we are going to conduct research and cooperation for 26 U European countries. And this assessment is not only focused on the tech, tech performance, but also we are going to do economic and also environment potentials of this uh, system. And among all the uh, renewable energy, solar energy is one of the most promising renewable energy. And this uh, solar energy is um, first is very clean and very also very cheap and also um, is modular and also flexible. And um, as you can see in this picture, yeah, you can see the mouse from the screen. So as you can see this picture, this is the new capacity in the two years later. So here this is the solar PV, which is almost a half percent of the share in the renewable energy, and followed by wind, um, uh, wind energy and and some hydropower. So, so, so this means that um, this uh, solar energy has a very significant share in the renewable energy now. And um, uh, regarding to the combined heat and power system for domestic application, so um, so currently the coal generation, so which is the combined heat, uh, cool, uh, heating and, uh, and power system is, um, has demonstrated more efficiency or higher efficiency than the conventional coal um, power plants. Um, and for this one, um, it's, uh, you already sh uh, can, can be seen from this uh, name. So it can produce the heating and the power at the same time. And as you can see here, this is the coal generation system because um, the input gas is the natural gas, and it can produce the cooling, uh, the heating, and the power at the same time. Um, because this one, they, um, um, they will save some waste heat or utilize the waste heat for produce cooling. So the efficiency would be very high; it's about 85, around 85 percent, and with very small energy loss. But compared with the conventional um, heat and power supply. So we just um, have the uh, power um, or energy, uh, energy generation from the coal-fired plants. But, mo but many of the um, energy from these coal plants will be wasted as the waste heat, would, which is not, not utilized anymore. So the efficiency of these um, coal-fired plants is very low. Um, and the total uh, efficiency of the separate, the conventional uh, uh, heating and the power system is only 55%. So now it's very important to have a, a, the combined heating and power system, we call the CHP system for domestic application. So we want to increase the efficiency of this for domestic application. And so here this is the um, investment cost of the um, solar pan, uh, the, the three types of a solar system. As you can see here for PVT system, we have more uh, cost for the different components. First, we, of course, we need to think about the PV, uh, PVT collectors and uh, uh, we, because we also need to have s some um, uh, thermal fluid loop. So we need to also think about the hy hydronic components and some well, uh, vessels and water tank and also piping, some uh, heat transfer fluid, pumps, mounting, and something. And also we need to think about some operation and maintenance, which is also very important because we need to give maintenance almost 10% uh, each year of the investment cost. So, so this is the total cost for the um, PVT system. And for the STC system, it is um, maybe simpler. We need to think about the collectors, price of the collectors, and uh, some mounting and uh, some uh, system uh, installation. So this is uh, more uh, modular. And also for PV, it's also m more, more, uh, more well developed because uh, many uh, companies is doing these tasks. So we only, only think about some mo modular cost for so system um, installation. Okay, so then uh, come to the conclusion. So first, um, 
So PVT system has the best total energy conversion, uh, the con coverage for being the combined cooling heating and uh, combined heating and power system. As you can see, a PV, a PVT, we can cover. Um, this is average value uh, among 26 euro countries. The PVT can have a coverage of 37.4% uh, um, um, electricity and uh, as well as 48.4% uh, of uh, thermal energy. But for PV, it can only, um, only encourage electricity and for SAT, it can only encourage uh, thermal energy. And for, uh, and for a P PV system has the best economic performance in all the EU countries. Here is the average payback time of the uh, three different energy uh, solar energy system. And here we also um, uh, demonstrate that uh, the PVT system has the best uh, environment performance among all these countries because here with the um, uh, environment um, um, poten 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 percentage uh, cost the safety, the, the, the PVT wins. And here, um, and uh, the potential of the using these solar systems also uh, verifies with also the, the um, um, deter, uh, also determined by the areas and also uh, the locations. And we found that in the southern and the coastal European countries tend to have a better economic performance using these solar systems. Um, because one case is because it has a larger solar irradiance and because of the higher temperature and milder climate, which is the, solar, uh, the thermal energy demand, which is lower. So uh, here we list the three typical countries, which is very promising to have this solar system. One is Spain, one is Portugal, and uh, Cyprus. And we also found that in the northern and the inland European countries, tends to have a worse performance. Um, because of the very large temperature difference between the light and day, and also um, very short daytime and a very uh, low solar radiance. So here we also give four examples, Sweden, which is often <laughs> be talked, so which is uh, the coverage uh, uh, ratio is low, and also uh, another three countries. Okay, that's all my presentation. Thank you so much for your listening.